Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a medulloblastoma. A medulloblastoma is a high-grade, WHO grade 4, embryonal type CNS tumor. So this is a primary tumor in the brain. It occurs in the posterior fossa or infratentorially, and it very frequently occurs in children. In the current WHO classification, medulloblastomas can be typed according to the molecular type, in other words, different molecular aberrations. So there are several molecular subtypes, and all of these are grade 4 tumors. In addition, they can also be classified according to the histologic type or morphologic type. This particular example is a classic medulloblastoma, which is the commonest histologic type. Let's take a closer look. You notice that at relatively low magnification, this tumor tends to have a bluish appearance as opposed to a pink appearance that can be seen in some other tumor types. This blue appearance is because the cells have very scant cytoplasm. In other words, they have high NC ratios or high nuclear cytoplasmic ratios. You can see in some areas that the nuclei really touch each other, and this means that the cells have very, very scant amounts of cytoplasm. So these tumors are within a spectrum of tumors known as the small round blue cell tumors because all these tumors have small cells and they appear quite blue because of high NC ratios. Other tumors in this group include other embryonal tumors such as retinoblastoma, neuroblastoma, Ewing sarcoma, and epithelial tumors such as small cell carcinoma and also hematolymphoid malignancies. So for this medulloblastoma, we can see that the nuclei are relatively hyperchromatic. They are of different shapes. Some are rounder, whereas other nuclei tend to be a little bit more angulated. We can also see that there are plentiful mitotic figures, and we can count them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, possibly here as well, eight. So there are at least eight mitotic figures in this single high power field. This is a very rapidly growing or aggressive tumor. Another feature that we can sometimes see in medulloblastomas that relate to its rapid cell turnover and rapid growth is the presence of apoptotic tumor cells. These are tumor cells that have died without inciting an inflammatory response. In this field, we can see several apoptotic bodies. For example, this cell here with a pycnotic nucleus and a very condensed eosinophilic cytoplasm. This is an apoptotic tumor cell. Here is another one and another cell here. Let's look at another case to see another feature of medulloblastoma. Here is a different case, and you can see that the staining quality is a little bit different. However, it still has this small round blue cell appearance. And what I want to highlight here are the presence of these rosette-like structures formed by the tumor cells. There is another one here and another one here. We can see that in the center of these rosettes, there is pink fibrillary material. There is no well-defined lumen. These are known as Homer-Wright rosettes. And Homer-Wright rosettes are not exclusive to medulloblastoma. They can be seen in other embryonal tumors, such as neuroblastoma and retinoblastoma. So in summary, this is an example of a medulloblastoma. This is an embryonal primary CNS tumor that occurs in the posterior fossa, more frequently in children. And this is a WHO grade 4 tumor. Thank you.